when we brought the engineering team on board earlier this year, our first goal was to really take that system based off of you know a full multi-camera motion capture studio and make it work with a single camera like I demonstrated today. And that's one camera that's going to give you color information and depth information at every pixel. Um, and that's actually been a real challenge because there's a lot of fidelity lost in that today. process. So a lot of motion games out there can take your motion and they can put it on screen. But what they can't do is let you grab onto an object in the world and let you do something meaningful. We believe that you need to interact with the virtual world. And that's tough because you're not, there's no object to grab in your living room. And so when you grab onto an object in the virtual world, your hands are fixed in space. Cavort in front of the camera all I want, but eventually I'm done. There's no more fun to be had. So what I want to do now is by closing my hands and doing something, I'm going to go and I'm going to swing across these monkey bars. So I can jump up and grab the bars. I missed one, so I'm not in front of the camera. That would be the problem. So I, um, I can swing on these bars. I can now augment my motion. So like I said, I'm here in my living room. This is very easy for me, but I can make my guy do pull-ups on screen, no problem. <laughs> or I can let go, and I can reach over, and I can get really cheeky and do one-arm pull-ups. <laughs> not possible in real life. Real Dan is not that strong. Um, I can swing across these bars. The best games give you 80% of the experience with 10% of the effort. And I think ultimately that's what you know, the game designers are trying to do, um, is they're trying to give you as, as big and as bold of an experience as you can uh, with a low barrier of entry so that it stays fun. Give me a kung fu game, right? Well, I mean, I could, I could mimic those motions. I could pretend that I'm Jackie Chan. But wouldn't it be really awesome if I could, in my living room, pretend that I'm Jackie Chan and on TV see my avatar move with the fluidity and the grace and the expertise of Jackie Chan or a Jet Li or a Michael Jackson or a Michael Jordan or a Tiger Woods and be able to augment my performance, know that it's still my performance, I want to see me move, but have me move with that level of expertise. As the technology has moved forward, we're going to get increasingly more accurate, better fidelity, interesting new combinations of the technology. So we've got now not just the ability to use coarse motion, but actually some very precise motion. Um, you know, the PlayStation Move can give you very accurate information about that glowing ball on the end of the controller. And with uh, Kinect, you can get a, a, for the purposes of a single camera solution, a very accurate skeleton.